Hey guys, my name is JW Pranav and welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited because I just got my new e-bike. Now I have done many e-bike videos in the past, like how to ride them, reviews on different models. So there you have you reviewing the X Neon City e-bike. Now, um, this is a cruiser e -bike. But this video is gonna be completely different because not only am I gonna show you how to operate it but i will also show you how i customized it and what i am deciding to do with it though there are so many e-bike videos on the internet of why an e-bike would be better than a regular bike um any day in this video i'm going to summarize at the end of this video why i prefer an e-bike over a regular bike and why like what the benefits are of an e-bike over a regular bike so stay tuned for that and before I actually begin the main parts of the video, I want to give you a brief talk on why I decided to get the C-Bike and why um, why I choose this over a regular bike. And first, uh, cycling has been a real big part of my life initially while I was growing up and now. I've always wanted to get on two wheels and get out there, you know, hit the trails and roads. I guess there's a reason for that too. My dad, he was a competitive um, motorcycle racer and um, I that's just part of me, I guess, you know, um, having that interest for two wheelers. I've competed in many triathlons before. And the first time I actually found out that there was an e-bike, I was never really sure what it was until I actually did some research on it when I was in like, I don't know, sixth grade. And um, ever since I actually got on one and um, rode it, I fell in love with it. So let's just get on with the video now. Here we have it. This is the Trek. Powerfly 5 2019 model. I just got this bike and this part is basically going to be an overview of it. So excluding the accessories, we just have our handlebars. It comes with a bell, our gear shifters, our LED display screen with the plus and minus button that decreases and increases the level of assist. We got a total of 11 to 12 gears in the back. We have our hydraulic disc brakes, um, both front and back. We have our charger over here. Sorry, I was riding this around a little bit. That's a little dirty. Got charger. Um, then we have our kickstand, which is com which it comes with. Thank God, and it comes with these 29-inch tires, mountain tires. And in case you're wondering, the bike itself is the 17.5 model. Now with the accessories, let's start from the back and move on to the front. By the way, I got a bunch of these um, from the Trek store. So the link for their website will be in the description. I got a bunch of these except the seat um, thingy, the seat cushion, and um, the um, Laval H2 phone holder. So we got our... Um, bag rack i would say it's a little dirty just don't mind that um like i said i was riding around a bit we have our um cords our bungee cords that can hold the bag together with these little hook thingies that hook onto something so it doesn't fall off we have our gel pro from firefox um this is a squish squishy a squishy seat thingy that you can sit on it won't hurt your butt this is um, an insulate the polar insulated water bottle now the really good thing about this is that it's not a normal water bottle this is one of the top of the line because it's insulated and the thing is it's not like those really 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 big bottles that are really hard to use they're big big to carry this is really small it's compact and it's light and it can just fit in there really easily and um, we got our white water bottle cage you just slide it in like that um, we have our pump right here or a bike pump it's just really compact if you have a flat you need a spare tube just put that stuff in fill it up right here just put it over here then put the rubber band and that's it it's simple 
now we have this is one of my favorite accessories here because we got a easily accessible pouch in the front and I keep my spare um, tubes in here I keep um, a bunch of stuff in here um, which is really useful this is a lock it's one of the it's a it's a pretty decent sized lock it's not one of those really small ones that um, are very weak and break apart easily and coming up to the front we have a live all h2 phone holder now the really really good thing about this is that top of the line it has this extendable thingy where um, no matter what size your phone is it can handle that i think it goes up to like the 10 or whatever the 10 plus i don't even know if it's a 10 plus and then there's this thingy where you can adjust the the width of your phone and it's a little it's a little complicated to put in initially because you got to unscrew the screws over here and then put it in but once you got that set in, you'll be fine. But the really cool thing about this Lowball H2 phone holder is that you can um, put it in and then you can also record, which I will show The phone is in the phone holder. As you can, there's a tire, you can um, make it go down like this. Show you the ground or whatever, you can bring it up and then you can put it to landscape like that. Now it's landscape. You can basically just fill them your whole ride. You can bring the thing here, show the tire, like I said. And you can also show it's you can also act like a selfie. Here thing. I am, about to ride the bike. Oh, yep. So it's it's really, really, really decent and efficient. You can also put it on here whenever you're riding. You can answer phone calls, you can FaceTime, you can do whatever. Um yeah, it's just really, really handy. Over here we have our um, Ion Pro Art um, light. Now these the, these are rechargeable lights, and they have a lot of um, functions on it. Different light. There's bright, medium, dim, and there's a little daylight flicker. We've got our night light, and yeah, it just goes again. I usually keep it at the daylight flicker, so to hold it to turn off. We got our bell, like I said. Um, and then for the back, I forgot to tell you this, but we got our backlight too, our bond trigger light. Mm, yeah, just a bunch of different sort of modes. So I just um, hold it to turn it off. Now, last but not least, we have our mud guards in the front. We also have a mirror here, a decent commuter mirror for whenever you um, need to look on the road or whatever. Yeah, that's me. And yep. Yeah. Now without further ado, let's ride this bad boy. Before I ride, safety always comes first. I got my riding gloves on. I got my riding. By the way, um, I just ordered a um a live all um a live all helmet. It's the commuter helmet, and the cool thing about live all, I'll put the link in the description. They make these really smart helmets. Um, which by that I mean helmets that have integrated lights into them um, you can make yourself seen and a remote you can plant on um, the handle which live all bling jet and that comes with the helmet and I guess whenever you're gonna make a turn turning signals the other thing about it is that you also have integrated speakers so you can play music you can pick up calls there's a walkie-talkie feature on there and it has a micro it has a built-in microphone too so it's just it just makes your ride so much more easier if you know what I mean so on the display board, if you want to see uh, like the distance you've covered, um, the range you have left in your battery, how many miles you went, all you got to do is you got to press the minus button, hold it, that's the trip time. This is the total miles you covered. And because I'm in the off um, level, I can keep going forever. But um, if I put it in turbo instead, um, it's the same thing, the trip time. Um, total miles covered, but over here I only have 26 miles to go on turbo because it uses the most amount of battery and etc cetera, etc cetera. The, the if you decrease the level of assistance it the range you have is more because you're um, Because you're using less power from the battery, but you know if it's just short commutes I recommend you keep it at EMTB or turbo Because um, it's just short commutes if it's longer. I recommend keeping it at eco or tour EMTB at um, max, but you should never go to turbo if you're um, doing short long commutes or 
in the schools because you do not want to run out of um, power when you're stuck in the middle of the road. So yeah, that's a good tip to keep in mind. So let's start riding. I am in the off mode right now. Kick the kickstand off. Let's go. So it's just a normal bike at this point. Let's switch the camera around. So here we are off at two miles an hour, switching into eco. Little bit of traction right there. Picked up a little bit of power. Now let's change it to tour. Already at 10 miles an hour. Now this is the mountain bike. So now since I'm putting less power into the pedals, it's not going to assist me that much. But as I pedal harder, it increases the speed. Go back. The mountain bike at the moment now. And last but not least, turbo is the fastest amount of assistance. It gives you the fastest amount of speed. By the way, the acceleration on this bike is phenomenal. I already reached 10 miles an hour in like three, three to four seconds. Hitting 20 miles an hour at the moment. Yeah. Being a biker, I know what um, bikers' weaknesses are, just what throws them off the most, and that those are hills. Hills suck. They, they just suck. So, um, the thing about an e-bike is um, the area where it helps you the most is a hill. That's the thing. Whether you have a commuter bike or whether you have a mountain bike, um, the place where it helps you the most is a hill because that's where you struggle the most. So I have a hill right here. That's a pretty big hill. It's kind of steep also. And I'm going to try to um, go over it with off and then with an e-bike assistant to see what the difference is. So now I'm off at the moment. I put, I set it to off. So I'm traveling at a regular speed. Let's see if we can get this hill. Oh God damn it. Burn. I can do it. So now I gotta get off and push this monster of a bike up the hill. <sighs> yeah, that's a pretty immense hill. This is way steeper down here. This is way steeper. I'm gonna try to take this e-bike up this hill because this is a lot more steeper. So now this is where it pays off. This is where I show you why an e-bike is actually better than a regular bike and how it helps you the most right here so let's go down so this is the place where it sucks this is a mean hill very mean and i don't know if it's gonna let me go over but with the help of the e-bike i'm gonna put this at e-mountain bike and let's see where this takes me. Let's go. Frick yeah. Frick yeah. That was awesome. You see how, you see how quick that got me up that hill? It just that freaking E mountain bike. Let's do this again. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. That's why an e-bike is better than a regular bike. Going fairly decently fast. So 
So summarizing the bike, um, I would get an e-bike over a regular bike any day. It doesn't matter which e-bike, I just get one any day over a regular bike. And the reasons are two. First, it looks, I'm just gonna put out there right now, it just looks super sexy. But only if you customize it the right way. You don't put a, run ra a bunch of random shit on there that you don't need. Um, and number two is that it just, you know, it just helps you, it makes your day so much better, you know, so much more easier to be able to get over that hill. Just, you know, just feel all that power that you have, that the bike's giving you. Just, it's good for hitting the trails, good for commuters, good for people that are going to school, going to work, going to college. It could be anything. Just, it just helps you so much, makes your day so much better. Yeah, so those are the two reasons why I would get one and the two reasons why it would make your day better. Some disadvantages of an e-bike that um, may be there, some cons or that, it's kind of heavy, you know, it's a lot more heavier than a regular bike. So don't expect it to be um, all light, just like a regular, just like your bike that you have at home, because it's not, it's gonna, because there's the, there's the battery, which is really, really heavy. You gotta keep charging it sometimes. It wouldn't be that much of a headache, but it, if charging is a headache for you, it, it may not be the bike for you. But for me, it's not really that big of a headache, but it could be. If you run out of power, um, if your battery dies, then it just becomes a huge headache because the bike is heavy as hell. I noticed that if you put it in off and if you're trying to ride around, it's just a big drag. It's super heavy. And you're basically just dragging a big lug around. And yeah, it's just not going to make your day any better and then there's the motor and i forgot to mention but the battery in this bike is integrated into this so if you want to get that out you just put a key through the other side now to take out the battery from the bike all you got you got your key and you just push it in here like this and then you turn and then over to the right the battery pops out you can bring this out this is a little handle thingy that comes out here so you can just hold it like this, just bring it wherever you want. To bring it back, what you gotta do is, you gotta put um, it back in its grooves, bring it in, and then to actually push the whole compartment in, you gotta turn the key inward so that it actually fits in, and then take it out, perfect, you're done. So I'll put the e-bike website in the description where you can get one, there's Trek, there's Felt, um, there's a bunch. So I'll put that in the, I'll link that in the description. I'll link the Laval supplies in the description, like I said for the third time. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, and I'll link all products that I got in the description, but I got all of them from Trek, so I'll just link that. And damn, I got this bike super dirty. I got my my pants dirty too, but you know what? That's okay. It's fun hitting the trails and getting off road, you know. Now I personally have waited a dreadful two years to get this bike, so I'm so thankful that I got it and I will use this to the max to the its maximum extent and I will treasure it until maybe college or something. So yeah. Hope you guys do the same if you ever decide to get one. And have fun y'all.